I'm Bill Monroe. The grace period for Prescott Valley's new false alarm ordinance came to an end. The ordinance went into effect on January 20th and the grace period was supposed to end one month later, but due to a technical problem, it was extended. Business owners and residents will now be required to register their systems when they have their first false alarm. No injuries were reported following a house fire in Prescott. Neighbors who saw flames coming from the Lake Ford Road home in the Granite Dells area called the fire department. The fire was put out before it could spread to other properties. The cause is unknown. Work got started on a project that is expected to improve traffic travel times on Highway 89. ADOT is expanding the two-lane roadway between Road 4 South and Chino Valley and Deepwell Ranch Road in Prescott. The four-lane divided highway will run parallel to the existing Highway 89. This $17 million project is expected to be completed by summer. Prescott College became the first private school in the state certified as a veteran supportive campus. Colleges and universities can request certification if they demonstrate they have identified the needs and issues of student veterans, faculty, and staff. Prescott College offers student orientation and sensitivity, awareness training on military and veterans culture, and peer mentoring. The Century Avapai Fire District Board continued discussions on a joint management agreement with the Chino Valley Fire District. This agreement will allow the sharing of services, including a fire chief. The board agreed that Century Avapai Interim Chief Scott Bliss and Chino Valley Fire Chief Scott Freitag should sit down with the two district attorneys to iron out the details of the agreement. Brent Roberts was selected as vice president for the Prescott Unified School District Board. Roberts, who has been on the board since last April, will run the meetings when President Tina Seeley is unavailable. The city of Prescott, the town of Prescott Valley, and the Salt River Project agreed to move forward with a multi-year hydrologic monitoring agreement. This agreement is designed to protect the Upper Verde River from possible impacts from the future importation of groundwater supplies from the Big Chino Subbasin. And Yavapai County Assessor Pam Pearsall announced a legal victory will result in benefits for local taxpayers. The Phoenix Cement Company of Clarkdale filed a lawsuit against Pearsall in Yavapai County, stating its business personal property was overvalued. A judge confirmed the audit is valid, meaning $568,000 from 2010 and $571,000 from 2011 will be put back into the pockets of taxpayers. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQ&A News Week in Review.